Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my November 3 one. Before I actually start off with this video, I said in my TBR that this month is Alzheimer's Awareness Month and also Native American Heritage Month and I kind of wanted to start all of my videos off this month with like maybe a fact about Alzheimer's or something that you may have not known about Native Americans. So in this video, I'm going to give you my fun fact for the day for Alzheimer's and if you guys didn't know Alzheimer's kills more people than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined every year and a lot of people like to just sum up Alzheimer's to oh that's just something that's old age you're losing your memory that's not at all what it is Alzheimer's is a brain degenerative disease guys I feel like I tripped over my words when I said degenerative <laughs> Okay, y'all know what I'm trying to say. And a lot of people just will trump that up too. That's just something you go through when you get older and that is not at all. Like it's eating at your brain that you're ultimately going to die for. There is medicine that will, you know, kind of prolong it, but it's not a cure. It's more of trying to make you comfortable and it gives you more moments of clarity. But even when you hit that certain stage, that's not going to help anymore. You have some people taking four and five different combinations of pills and it's just it's terrible you know but of course Alzheimer's still does not get as much notoriety as it deserves and as it needs so if you guys would like to donate you can go to alz.org slash donate or you can go to alz.com slash walk and this month there are different walks going on and I think they had some last month too and yeah, let me have some last one too. And you can just put in your zip code and see if you have any walks going on in your area. Um, I know the walk for New Orleans is November 11th, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, it's in November 11th. But they have, they have a walk in New Orleans. They have a walk in Baton Rouge for you Louisiana people. They have a lot of other places that... So just go on there. Go to alz.com alz.org slash walk and put in your zip code and see where your walks are happening registration to walk is completely free you don't have to put up a dime if you don't want to you can just go to support it's completely free but you do need to register because you're that's how you're going to get your t-shirt but it's completely free you don't have to pay a dime you don't have to put not your credit card information on it and nothing it's completely free in case you guys are wondering i know some walks make you pay to walk but it's completely free and you have that option to donate. You can donate a dollar if you want to. You could donate five dollars. You don't have to donate a hundred dollars and two hundred dollars. If you can only donate a dollar, that would be great because every cent counts when we're trying to find a cure for Alzheimer's because it is it is a very serious disease and it's something that runs through my family and that's like my biggest fear that when I get older I'm going to just I'm gonna have it. I'm not gonna be able to remember anybody or anything and it's just you don't want to live your life in fear of when is it going to be the day that I'm not going to be able to remember this person. That is like the biggest fear that I'm going through right now. So yeah, now on to the books for the November 3-1. The topic for November is books set in places that you would like to live. And this could be real or fake, uh, past or present. It doesn't have to be any, it could be something imaginary. You know, it's just books that are set in that place. So the first book that I have here is Rook by Sharon Cameron and this book is set in Paris. Like I freaking love Paris. Paris is the top place that I really 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 want to visit. Like when I do my first out of the country thing I really really want to go to Paris. Like I think somewhere in me I have like French in my blood because I just I don't remember how long I've been obsessed with Paris. Like, I just, I cannot wait. Like, I have planned my trip to Paris already. And I don't even know when the hell I'm going. But I have planned that trip to a T. Like, I have the whole itinerary going on. What I, where I want to go to eat. Where I want to go to shop. Oh, my freaking God, y'all. Like, I just, I'm so ready. So, if my fiance was to say to me today, we're going to Paris tomorrow, I'm ready. I have everything set up. I just... I'm obsessed with Paris, y'all. Like, I don't know what it is about Paris. I just think it's, like, the most beautiful place in the world. Like, that's what I'm thinking, like, in my mind. And I can't wait to actually go one day. The next book that I have is The Dolls by Kiki Sullivan. And this book is set in Care for Louisiana. Now, I know y'all like... Bitch, you live in Louisiana. What are you talking about? I don't think Care for is a real fucking place. Okay, so... In that case, I would love to go here. I would love to go to Care For and like be in this magical fucking town and be one of the queens of Zandra, which is supposed to be like a, like a spin-off route from Voodoo. 
I would fucking love to be one of the queens for that shit. Like, I, I, I can get what I want by saying a fucking spell. Yes, like, who wouldn't want that? You know, I never got to work a day in my life because I got this. I got magic. What I need to work for? I got it. I need money. I got a spell for that. I need food. I got a spell for that. I want a big fucking mansion. I have a spell for that. That is why I really want to go here. Like, I really love magical feelings that you get when these books, when it's like, Everybody has magic and powers and like you can just witches and you could just like do a spell. I love those books that give me those vibes because I'm like, yes, I feel like I could just point at you and I could just look at you and say a spell and I get what I want. Even though it's probably not going to fucking happen, but it would be pretty damn cool. And the last book that I have is Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rosh. And I know you're like, why y'all didn't say Snow Like Ashes? It's the first book. I'm specifically talking about Autumn and Ice Like Fire. You know, in Snow Like Ashes, we don't really see autumn. All we really are into is spring and winter. So, I really, 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 really loved autumn. Autumn in Snow Like Fire, you kind of got like a cameo. It wasn't really anything like really set, set in autumn. It was really mostly in this one. They just added in summer. So, it was winter, spring, and summer. But... We really didn't get to really get into Autumn, which I hope we get into in the last book, which I still need to read. And I just, they make Autumn seem like the best place to be, really, in this book. Now, in Snow Like Edge, you're supposed to be on winter side, but I'm sorry, it seems like so much drama is going on, and it really seems like Autumn is not included in all of this drama. And let, to get, to, just to be real, I, my favorite season is Autumn. Like, I just love, even though I feel like this year Louisiana had just fucking completely skipped over fall, I love fall. Like, it's just the perfect weather outside. You get the trees, all the trees turning all the pretty colors, and it's just, I love it. It's just real mellow in autumn. So, I'm just, I would love to live there. And the way that Sarah Ross built this world, it's so beautiful. Her description is on point. Like, that is, she did the best world building I think I have ever read. Like, one of the best world builders I have ever read. Because, like, reading the first book, I could really imagine this world. Like, I could close my eyes and see it just from her words. Like, every time she just introduced a new season, it's like, that would be so awesome. Like, that looks so beautiful. Like, I can see it, what she's telling me. She just, I loved it. So, it's like, I always say this world, is, it seems very beautiful. Even though it has drama going on it still seems like a very like a very beautiful world like almost a picture like on a wall like you're looking at like you wouldn't even think it's real like it seems like that so go autumn so people these are my books that i have for the november three and one and usually i wait till the end of the month to my three and one but this topic just seems so good i could not wait I'm like so excited that she chose this topic because it just sounds freaking amazing so and that scenario and in that case that is all that i have for you guys today don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye